there are frustrations in doing this science, and probably the greatest frustration, especially with polar research, is how long it takes. Well, we're focused on the Pine Island Glacier, the one place in Antarctica where things are happening fastest and the changes are the greatest. The satellites have directed us there, but we have to get our boots on the ground into the snow right there to be able to make the measurements of what is going on underneath the ice to understand the details of those processes so we can predict what the future is going to be. We want to go back as soon as we can, um, and we're being held back by the need to establish this uh, helicopter support camp. And that's going to take at least another two seasons to uh, complete. We learned that we can't land with the small airplanes that we were hoping to use. The surface is too rough and too hard to safely establish uh, our field camp with a fixed wing aircraft. You can only work in Antarctica about three months out of the year, so already it's four times slower because three months out of every 12, you can actually do something in the field. Um, so that's one thing that slows it down. The fact that we are so far from McMurdo and having to wait two years just to have the type of camp that we have to have there so we can get safely onto the ice shelf. The scale of the journey is, is quite massive just because this is a long way from McMurdo, the, the major U.S. base. This is 1,400 miles away. Uh, but that final 400 miles, that's going to be this over-snow traverse. And that's going to be very slow and, and laborious. So the scale of this is like going from, uh, from McMurdo to West Antarctica. That's like flying from D.C. to Kansas City and then getting on a very slow lawnmower and driving at lawnmower speed from Kansas City out to Denver. So it does take some time. Well, while the people who are working on setting up this camp are doing their thing, we're doing our thing, which is science. So although we can't be at the ice shelf itself, we're looking at other satellite data to learn as much as we possibly can about the ice shelf before we go back. Well, one of the, one of the really neat things about this project is that because nobody has ever made these measurements, and this is such a dramatically changing area that we're going to discover something. We just know we're going to discover something because nobody has ever looked uh, underneath this very active uh, ice shelf and looked at how the ocean is interacting with the ice and how the ice sheet's responding. So discovery is a sure thing. Discovery is always the most exciting thing about doing science. I mean, I am just itching to go and it's really frustrating to have to wait, but we learn as much as we can in the intervening time to be even better prepared uh, to do the science once, once we actually have the opportunity to be there. It, it does take time, but the reward is the discoveries that we make and the, the increase in knowledge and ability to predict what these ice sheets are going to do in the future and how it will affect people worldwide. That makes it worth the frustration. That makes it worth the effort.